Hey YouTube, it's your boy Blaze Collection Full Effect and we're back after a month long hiatus but you know life gets in the way sometimes but you might be wondering how come I got these stacks of old school Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs here? Well these are you could tell are already opened and if you haven't seen the video there's a video on my page of me opening these um, you know here's just an example of like I think this was from volume 4 you know, just the old school original artwork. You know, they have no Eye of Anubis uh, hologram stick at the bottom. So, real vintage stuff. But the only packs I haven't opened was volume one, volume two, and uh, seven, right? Those are the only ones I haven't opened yet. But today I got something special. Uh, if you paid attention to my Instagram account, Instagram is Blaze Collects. I actually had a post where I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And yes, it's in a frame. This is the first booster pack, volume one. And this is the original. You could tell by this right here. This is not the reprint. They actually reprinted this with the same artwork and everything like that, but it just didn't have this. Instead, it has something else, but this is the original. And this booster pack right now easily goes for over $200 or more on eBay. This is actually the only one I have. I was saving it. I was thinking about grading the pack, but uh, you know, with grading times and things like that, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to just open it because I never opened it before. So we're going to do that right now. So let me try to get it out this, uh, this frame. And I'm super shocked too that the seller, you know, they put it in the frame. Like they didn't have to do that. That's cool. That's a nice touch. And it's still in the plastic. This frame, I'll, I don't know, I'll put a picture in it. Um, so yeah, here it is. This set has 40 cards. And the two chase cards from here is Dark Magician and I believe Gaia. I think Gaia the Fierce Knight are the two uh, ultra rares in this set. So I think it's two ultra rares, three supers, and maybe five rares. And the rest is, are like common and uncommon. So yeah, this is a treat for me. I hope it's a treat for you guys that's watching. You know, I just, this is just kind of like my appreciation for the people that you know, do stick around and check out my content and my videos because I know I am a new YouTuber opening things and stuff like that. So whoever does stop by and just watches my videos, I really do appreciate it, you know, because there's plenty of other bigger channels that's doing more bigger openings and things like that. But I don't know if they open opening up cards like these and packs like these. But look at this. Can I get this open? Where is this open from? Oh, aha. Uh -huh. right. There we go. Get that out the way. Can it open now? There we go. Had to get it out of that plastic. All right, here we go, volume one. And see, I'm actually, now that I'm looking at it and took it out the plastic, I'm glad I didn't hold on and grade it because as you can see that like crease right there in the plastic, um, you know, and I'm sure there's some other things that PSA will probably ding for it and stuff. But I honestly think I'm debating it now because as of this recording, the uh, East Coast National Card Show is tomorrow which is friday it's tomorrow saturday sunday it's a three-day event in uh upstate i believe upstate new york you guys could uh look it up if you want to just type in east coast national something should come up and i believe vgs is going to be there on site grading and things like that but i'm not too sure if i'm gonna go um but i do think all the cards that are in here, I'm gonna sleeve them and I'm just gonna get them graded. Uh, just because like, you know, certain artworks and things like that you just don't see anymore. And there were, especially in all of these packs, 
there were cards that were never uh, reprinted in over here in the TCG. Like it was exclusive to OCG. So these, like some cards in here are the only way to get them is by opening these packs, you know? But you guys been waiting long enough. I've been waiting long enough. Let's crack this open. I got some sleeves next to me. I'm not gonna preserve the pack. Uh, I wish I had a scissor near me, but I don't. So I'm just gonna open it from the top. And I don't know where, if you do get a rare card, I don't know where it would fall. I'm not sure if it would be in the middle or in the back. I believe it's in the back. But let's just see. Actually, that's not bad. I'll, I'll keep the pack. All right. So here we go with volume one. The first booster pack ever printed for Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I don't have my, lap, my uh, laptop near me, so I don't know the names, but I do recognize the cards. And as you can see, the bottom right, no eye of Anubis, uh, hologram, the sticker, and things like that. It's just the, the card number, you know. We got this. Don't worry, I'm gonna sleeve these at the end. Hey, isn't this uh, blade fly, if I'm not mistaken? That's pretty cool. But again, you know, like simple original artwork, you know, compared to the artwork nowadays in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just, it's like it's a completely different game, you know? So, let's see what's next. Uh, this is actually like a really common card. Next we got, hey. And like I said, forgive me, I don't know the names. I know the name of uh, this one, but it's not coming to me. And the last card should be behind here. It's only five cards in each pack. So let's see what we got. It is, aha. Uh -huh. Now, again, the names aren't coming to me. Uh, I'll probably put the name somewhere in the video of the cards, of each card. But look at this. You know, just simple, actually, let me sleep these up while I'm talking. Just simple artwork like this, you know. To me, it goes a long way because, uh, especially the cards that haven't been printed over here. Because nowadays, Yu-Gi-Oh, like the artists, I'm pretty sure they're not making cards like these anymore. You know, everything is all futuristic and things like that and, you know, about waifus and stuff, so. But this one, I really, I'm actually hyped that I got this card. I really want to get this graded. I don't know why, it just screams like original Yu-Gi-Oh to me. Well, it is, it came out 1999. But I'm not too sure if that was printed in the TCG. So that's why I'm kind of hype about it. So that was that. That was Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1. The original first booster pack that came out in 1999. Um, no rares or anything like that, but that's fine. You know, something like this doesn't get opened every day. So... I really hope you guys enjoy this little short video. I got more videos coming on the way. Um, I actually have some purchases on the way of PSA graded cards that has to do with Yu-Gi-Oh and things like that. That I'm not sure if you guys have seen yet. It's pretty unique. It has to do with, uh, it actually has to do with some of these booster packs, like some of the artwork. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming soon. I hope everyone enjoyed this little simple video get a little bit of, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! history, a trip to the past, right? And like I said, if you want to see openings of these booster packs, it is on my channel. I think my, my channel doesn't have much video, so it's not hard to find. And yeah, see you guys on the next one. Peace!